Well, the Marshall House was was for us such a tremendous find because I ha I knew nothing about while I was working in the kind of magazine lifestyle sector where we did feature a lot of in houses and interiors and so forth. I didn't have an understanding of Australian architecture, so my reaction to this house was intuitive rather than from a from a, a point of oh it's a, a Bruce Rickard house. I just a friend had shown me pictures and we came on the first open day. So it was actually um which I think is a good thing. The response was immediate and intuitive rather than intellectual. I think what is most distinctive about the house is that there's no front door. So um, it's a kind of wall of, of doors um, glazed um, all to the, the north because um, Bruce Ricard was all about orientation for light and so he was determined that you would get maximum winter sunlight. And so you come down quite a steep hill and then you turn into this very open friendly face of the house which is a you know a courtyard that faces north it gets the sun and then it's a very open space so the planning is you know living dining and kitchen and he's clever he doesn't want the kitchen he always said i don't want the mess of a kitchen to be exposed so it's actually hidden behind the brick which is kitchen on one side and the fireplace on the other so it's one very simple solution to those two issues and then you go through to um, a deck um, and that's where you you see the view so there is a sandstock brick wall because the house faces west so that then it doesn't get too hot so when i was there on the open day people were saying oh well obviously you would knock this wall through and and what people don't realize is that then you would need air conditioning to, to counteract the heat from the westerly sun and so forth so this house isn't air conditioned it's all about through through breezes. It, it's interesting when you live in a house before I'd spoken to Bruce and before as I worked on this architectural um, project I actually appreciated him more because I, I could kind of begin to see the layers of things that that he'd done and often they're very simple and quite economical so above the beds there is a, a timber shelf and underneath there are two light bulbs that you screw in and you just that's your reading light so he's he's been very interesting with how he's dealt with light in, in even in a, a big continuous space like this one because different switches control um, different lights so you just have pools of light it doesn't need to be lit in a in a blanket fashion all the time so there are those subtleties all of the the, the things in the house are there for a reason um, there, there isn't any indulgence they're there to look beautiful or to actually be functional well, the children, as they grew up, became very conscious that it was a very particular house and they'd go to their friends and they'd want, they'd come back and go, why can't we have a sort of 60 inch TV screen and why don't we have a swimming pool? And, um, and then as they began to get older, they be became quite protective of it and they really understand it. And I think they're very proud of it. And what um, Bruce is very clever at is that connection with nature. So, you know, the sky and the changing skies are very much a part of daily life. And, and the children will go, Mum, this is a lovely sky. Do you think it's good enough to Instagram? You know, they want, they understand that there is beauty in, in that observation. And I think that's quite a powerful thing, actually, to pass on to your children. But what's interesting is that the people before us had three boys. So it's a robust house. You know, people have grown up in it. And, and we have been here now for nearly 14 years. So people stay a long time. And it will be interesting to see what, what happens in the future. I can see someone else um, coming in and putting their own things in. And, and I like that, actually. I like the idea that it has a you know, continued appreciation and, and use. But it's very hard to control those things after you've gone.